vlogging news today. We're going to unbox and assemble robotic smart machines hoverbots. This is from Things and Cosmos. It's for ages 8 to 14. It has 227 pieces, 8 experiments, and 60 manual pages. On the back, it shows you all the pieces and the 8 robots that you can build. And if it looks fun to you, you can purchase this at the link in the description. First is the robotics smart machine manual. Here are there's a blue piece and then some yellow pieces. Um, there's these tire. They look like tires. More yellow pieces and some gray ones. Over here is uh, more pieces. Let's look over here. Looks like maybe the the machine that you need for all the robots so that it can uh, connect to your iPad. Over here are the wheels. And finally, more pieces. First, we're gonna build the balancing robot chassis. Okay, it's one out of three difficulties, so I should be able to do it by myself. We need the wheels. Open them. Grab this. Okay, and then we need this. Now we're gonna test the chassis. We downloaded the Hoverbox app, and now let's test it out. Okay, turn it on. Oh, there. Whoa, okay, it's not gonna fall. This is confusing. Whoa, this is confusing robot. The chassis seems to be working, so now let's go to the next step. We're gonna start off by building the easiest robot in this book, Pendula. It has one out of three difficulty, and it has five steps. Okay, first, one, two, <coughs> four of these. And we'll also be in the Okay. And we'll be needing this one, these. We need this big one. Okay. And that one, we want to see. Okay. And then we need this here. And then so two of this. Both sides are the same. So. And we're back. We're going to assemble another hoverbot, and this time it's a two out of three difficulty. And the robot is called 
Balancing Dino Robo. There are 27 steps in order to build the Balancing Dino Robo. First, we go on step number one. We had some technical difficulties because the camera got stopped and now we're going to resume on step number 15. Okay. So here's the dinosaur's head and neck. We have the big, huge, humongous dinosaur that's almost done. Okay, and then step number 19. I have finished the dinosaur. The tail moves and the mouth can open and close and the arms can move too. Okay, and I put on the chassis. So now what's left is to test it. Wow, looks magnificent. Okay, here we have the magnificent looking robot. And now let's do the remote control and Make it roam around the whole room. There. Wait. I'm putting it again. So you can see it better. light show by turning off the lights and I deployed the light feature on the phone and it'll flash rainbow colors as you can see over here and then let's and I will make a light show around here. Okay. I also deployed the dinosaur sound on this phone and earlier I forgot to deploy the lights over there so now it's flashing. And the dinosaur sound comes out of this boat. And then more. So, final thoughts on the bouncing dino robot and the pendulum. Overall, the pendulum was cool because the the bell thing kind of worked, going back and forth sometimes. Um, and then for the bouncing dino robot, I thought this one was better because it it just seems to bounce better since the weight is more uh, more spread around, and the tail is the one that bounces it like in real life what used to happen. The dinosaurs used the tails for balancing, so that was the same concept. And the mouth and the arms and the tail move around and also it looks cool because of the spikes on its tail and yeah it just looks cooler in general so overall this was pretty fun i can't wait to build the other ones to see what they can do and once again if this looks fun to you you can purchase this at the link in the description bye bye